Hello everyone and welcome back to another Universe Sandbox video and today we're going to be doing another what if idea and this one um, sprung to mind when um, I found out about the new supernova mechanics because um, as um, if you haven't seen the update video definitely go ahead and check that out but in that video we found out that the supernovas have changed in the game they are a lot more effective now with destroying stuff if we blow up the sun for instance it literally took out every single object in the solar system completely so what I want to try now is what if we put UI Scutty at the distance of Proxima Centauri and then we blew it up? Would it affect the solar system in any way whatsoever? That is what we're going to be finding out today. So let's just get straight into it. So see, here's our solar system and then Proxima Centauri is about 4.2 light years away. So see, we need to go into the menu. We're going to head straight down to um, UI Scutty. So here we go. And then we need to put this guy 4.2 light years away. So where are we here? So we've got to travel a big distance, remember, because it is a very big. So where are we? So one light year. It doesn't really matter whereabouts we pull it. As long as we pull it at the distance, um, that should be okay. All right, so 4.2 light years. So we want to pull it, not 4.1, 4.2. I want to get that exactly right. So 4.2 light years right there. Okay, so that is 4.2 light years currently away from the sun. So if we look from our solar system, U.S. Scuti should just appear the size of any other star. I mean, it does actually look a little bigger. I mean, that just shows how big this star is. But, okay, so UI Scuti is over there. Um, I wonder if... Um, there's. I, I'm guess there's no way its Hatchful Zone would get anywhere close yeah, um, to um, the sun. But I want to see if any of its light maybe reaches um, the Earth, for instance. Let's just go to Earth. Um, I'm not expecting it to, but you never know. See, I'm not sure if that's just light from the sun or not. I mean, it seems like we've got some weird lighting. If its light can get this far, I mean, that is... Um, insane but yeah well now it's placed down there's only one thing left simply to do we need to make it blow up so let's just go all the way over to it right so then we want to go to tools and then we want to go to explode we're going to turn down the time and yeah since it's 4.2 light years away it'd probably take it's about 4.2 years to actually find out it's blown up um just just the way science works i guess but yeah we're going to go ahead and click it right so now it has blown up so all that's left is the Nova remnant there. So I'm going to go close that. Okay, so now we should be seeing a supernova approaching the solar system. Okay, so this should be this should be pretty interesting. So let's go ahead, click play. Okay, so now we can see there's a the light has increased. There's a there's now a big big light. So um, let's just go over there. Actually, I wanna, I'm just going to land on the Earth quickly. So say say we're on Earth. We're looking up into the sky. Okay, so yeah, now you'd see quite a bright light starting to appear. Or see, there's the sun. And that's, that's probably going to get brighter and brighter. So, also you're going to sit on Earth for a bit. Um, yeah, we'll, we'll stick with Earth on this one. So, where, where are we? We need to obviously look at the explosion. And now we need to speed up time. So, and we're going to keep an eye on the temperatures of all the planets as well. Because I want to see if this Nova can... So due to the new settings added to the game. So, if we go to Surface. And then we go to the um, Energy Flow. And then we open this menu here. There's Supernova um, Power and then Drag Power. And it looks like... There's already some power that's hitting the Earth right now. I don't know how effective that's going to be, but the fact that it's actually picking up something, that's um, pretty crazy. We can start to see the cloud has appeared. So let's just uh, go ahead and uh, speed up a little quicker. So right now it looks like it's barely moving, but it is going a lot faster than you think it is. So we're going to see if this Nova will affect Earth in any way and all the planets. We're going to see if it can do anything. So, right, let's just go ahead and see this. How's Earth doing? So Earth looks pretty pretty normal at the moment so yeah let's um let's really speed this up i don't want to go too fast so i don't want anything to break we want to keep it at a fairly um slow speed here so earth's now going up into the 20s i'm not sure if it normally does that though um but yeah there we are so i want to see if that's that nova power does anything so right now it is nowhere near the solar system but i reckon once we really get going once we really start to speed this up you can start to see that's going to travel a lot quicker and yeah, that that's looking really crazy. Wow. Did, did something just get shot out of the solar system? That's just Pallas being a little strange. I don't know why we're in a binary orbit with Jupiter now. It's probably because we put the other star in here and messed things up a bit. But yeah, there we go. So Earth's just chilling normally at around 14 degrees there. So we need to see if it does anything. So where, where are we? So planet nine. I'm guessing these guys are probably not going to get affected. But the closest object right now to it is this one. So that's currently the closest object. So I wonder if that will get... Um, affected anyway but yeah let's just really go because it's obviously it's going to take about four years for it to get here i'm assuming so gotta let it really go so here we go so the cloud should start to hit the solar system you can see it's getting closer so you're around about a year at the moment 
So as we can see, it's taken multiple years for it to actually reach the solar system. But that's still quite a big um, star which has blown up there. So let's um, now start to look on the settings. So anything? No, Earth's still looking pretty normal here. So here we go. So go back to the uh, this sun here. So we haven't got any drag power yet. So that means the cloud hasn't fully gone through the solar system yet. But yeah, there we go. So, so keep it keep it rolling. Come on, a little, a little quicker. There we go. Right, drag power. We're we gonna get any drag power whatsoever, or are we just too far away to see any effect whatsoever. That's what we want to prove today. So yeah, we're really going fast now. We can see Earth's temperatures going all over the place. The average temperature is still fine though. That's just that's just wobbling around because we are running it very quickly. Still no drag power from the Nova. And when we are inside the Nova clouds now, so interesting. But yeah, there we go. So it doesn't seem like... We, yeah, it looks like most of the objects seem pretty pretty okay. Just chilling out here. It doesn't seem like we've got too much going on. We'll go a little quicker. I don't want to go much faster than that. But okay, so where is, uh, where's the Earth? So here we go. So 12 degrees, 11. It's looking fairly normal to me. Not really much going on here. So um, appearance... Surface back to here. No drag power still. So I'm guessing, yeah, I'm guessing um, to prove the theory. I mean, we, we would have to really, in theory, we'd have to keep it going until the Nova disappears. But that could take a lot of game time. Because if I make it go a thousand years, the solar system would just break. So, yeah, we don't, I mean, look how fast we're going. I mean, this is ridiculously fast. We're still not getting any supernova drag power. The Nova, we're traveling at 50 years now. The Nova has definitely gone through the solar system right now. I mean, you know, we are the solar system is deep inside that Nova cloud. But it looks like, from what the game can do, nothing happens. But obviously, I'm guessing in reality, with all this gas hovering around, that could um, could do some other things, as we can see. I mean, that's quite a lot of floating gas and material um, hovering around here. So there'll be loads of elements and stuff flying around. So maybe maybe there'll be um, some strange things that go on. But honestly, right now, look how cool the views are being inside this cloud look at look how colorful the sort of sky is and and the color of space i mean let's just let's just go and actually land on earth now i don't know why it's all freezing up it's just earth being weird in these new updates but okay so yeah imagine just at night time instead of seeing a black sky you would actually see stuff like this i mean imagine how cool that would be so yeah just look at that that is um that's pretty crazy and obviously a star like ui scooty it'd probably create um one of those hypernovas so w would it affect our solar system from the distance of Alpha Centauri? Let me know what you think down below in the comments. But as far as Universe Sandbox goes, we're going very crazy there. But yeah, as far as Universe Sandbox goes, nothing happens, unfortunately. I was hoping that maybe we would have seen a little more action due to the supernovas being buffed. Um, they pretty much have been buffed in this update. They actually do a lot more damage now. Um, but yeah, it doesn't seem like UI Scooty does anything at the distance of Proxima Centauri. So that's um, a bit of a shame, I have to say um for this one but yeah there we go so i mean we can just try again but i, I think we yeah there's still no drag power we are clearly inside the cloud i mean the cloud is light years away from the solar system now it's gone through it no problem but yeah other than that that seems to be everything for today's video guys so yeah a bit of a diff bit of a disappointing experiment obviously not every experiment can be a success and you may not always get the results um, you are after but yeah so to prove the question in universe sandbox 2 anyway if UI Scooty was to replace Proxima Centauri and then um, explode into a nova or a supernova, however you want to call it, hypernova even, um, yeah, nothing happens. The Earth does not get affected whatsoever. But I believe that contradicts, contradicts some theories about how a hypernova would work. Like it could do a lot more damage from further distances. But obviously, it's only a simulator at the end of the day. So, um, yeah, there um, there you go. But yeah, let me know what you guys think um, down below in the comments. If there's anything I missed, please let me know on that as well. But yeah, that, everything out the way, guys. Let's see if we can go for 30 likes on today's video. If you've got any other interesting theories we could try with supernovas and stuff since they've been buffed in this update, let me know what you... Um, want down below us it could be quite interesting to do more experiments with supernovas and stuff just to see um just to test around and have a little play of them so yeah let me know um what you want to see uh, with any more novas um and what if videos but yeah that all out the way guys make sure you all have a great day subscribe if new helps on the journey to 13,000 subscribers and click that bell for notifications but yeah that is everything so make sure you have a great day and i'll see you in the next video goodbye